Hey folks, Arizona guy here. It's May 1st, 2022. In Phoenix, Arizona, it's 95 degrees. It is hot and breezy. So anyway, what's going on out in the world today? Another day in the Biden-Harris America. So I bought some gas last night for $4.49 a gallon. But let me tell you what's going on, especially for Arizona people. So Mark Baranovich, our Attorney General, the guy that keeps claiming that he's investigating some fraudulent things that happened in 2020. Says he wants justice. Well, so far there's been no justice in Arizona. And come to find out that Mark Baranovich was cordially invited to a debate with Blake Masters, who I understand is running for Senate. And I guess they wanted to debate integrity in our elections. Well, lo and behold, Mark Baranovich failed to show up. Failed to show up to debate Blake Masters. Now, why do you suppose that is? Why would he not want to debate Blake Masters on election integrity? Seems like it would be a pretty easy debate to me. President Trump even called in wanting to speak with both men where the debate was going to be held, but no debate. So I guess he congratulated Blake Masters, and I'm sure he had a few chosen words for. Arizona Attorney General Baranovich, who was a no-show. Anyway, folks, you got to be so careful. These elected officials, it is time that we hold their feet to the fire. This Mark Baranovich has done absolutely nothing. And he is getting paid big money from the Arizona taxpayers like myself. It is truly appalling. So Blake Masters, I don't know who, I don't know the guy. He must be a pretty good guy. He's talking to Donald Trump. And apparently. Mark Baranovich doesn't want to talk to President Trump because he didn't even show up. I find that very appalling. But you know these elected officials? One thing about these elected officials who make big money off taxpayers like myself and you guys, no matter what state you live in, we're all paying the same monies for their salaries from our state tax dollars, our federal tax dollars, our sales tax dollars, anything you buy, tax dollars. And it's just disgraceful that this guy wouldn't even show up for a debate. So apparently, I guess, that he doesn't care that much about election.
facts and integrity or the facts of what happened actually in 2020. So, like I say, man, it's time that we hold these elected people's feet to the fire. Because all these people have a really good story when they're running for office. Oh, I'll do this and I'll do that. I'll take care of this. And then, after they've been in there, you know, two to five years, boy, how things change. Pretty soon, they don't even know who their constituents are. They have totally forgotten about what their constituents wanted or their constituents' values. Totally forgotten. It's incredibly sad. Like this Carrie Lake who's running for Arizona governor. I mean, she is a wonderful lady. I think she'll make an absolutely fine governor if we can get her elected. She says that she'll approve shooting down the Mexican drones. The Mexican drones that fly, fly over the border, searching out so they can know where Border Patrol is. So they can run their drugs and their fentanyl across the border undetected. Because our border is open. She said she'll approve our people shooting down the Mexican drones. Which should have been approved years and years ago whenever they first started using them. They should not be able at will to invade American airspace with their drones. And it's the same for us. I mean, if, the, if America is flying drones over the Mexican border, they have every right to shoot it out of the sky. It's invading their airspace. But America, we are really weakened. What do we need? Permission now to shoot down a Mexican drone? We have to call the Mexico president and ask permission to shoot down one of their drones? No, folks, we don't. But our governor, Doug Ducey, the current governor, is just really weak. Just a really weak guy. And he made all kinds of promises when he got elected. Like they always do. And we Americans, we fall for it. And then we tolerate it for a while, and then we choose to elect somebody different. Well, folks, essentially, the system is broken. Because once these people get in to a political office, they don't really leave. Like, Ducey will just move on to something else within government. They never really get out. They're always in. Always connected. Always somehow receiving American taxpayer money. It's just really shameful. It's like, you know, Mark Baranovich. So, let's say he's defeated in the November election. I think his term is up we elect another attorney general well he can do one of two things he can stay with working somewhere within the government making a huge salary or because he was Arizona's attorney general he can probably most easily get a job in the private sector just because of his title get a job with, say, Google. He could get a job with, say, YouTube as some kind of advisor, you know. Oh, here's Mark Baranovich. He's the advisor of creation at YouTube. Now, he doesn't know anything about YouTube creation, but a company will hire him 
give him a big salary with big benefits just because of his name. He was the Attorney General of Arizona. So folks, it's very hard as a country, as a people, to get rid of these type of people and not mistakenly elect this type of person. So we got to be very, very careful in the midterm elections on who we must know who we're electing. And we must know their history. We must know much about them to be able to decide to vote for them. They have to give us something other than just unfounded uh, promises. All right, folks, that's what I got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, please subscribe, give the video a like, share it on your social media accounts, pass it around. Have a wonderful day. Arizona guy. Out.